Hey there my fellow mammals. Today I am going to be playing by far the toughest and hardest battle arena there is, the Yellow Stadium. Hold up, before you disagree and make a comment saying it isn't the hardest arena, let me give you my reasoning for this. Although you'll generally run into low win percent players on this arena, that doesn't mean every game is an easy win. In fact studies show that you generally play down to the opponent's skill level, so they can be really unpredictable at times and steal away a win from you in ways you couldn't even imagine. And all this stress for a measly 5 medallions, I wonder why thousands of people play on this ridiculously overpowered arena when they can be getting easy wins on BFB Coliseum. So yeah, in this first game I am going full out try hard with the dart farm and chipper strategy. A few of you commented you want to see me explaining a bit more about my gameplay and strategy instead of the off-topic talk all the time, so I'm going to do just that I guess. While I may be rusty I sure as hell haven't lost any game knowledge, it's just the execution that gets iffy sometimes. So when using this strategy you always want to place a farm down first, and then place down a 0-0 dart monkey to catch those round 1 AI balloons. If it's a long map then you can be a little greedy and get up a 1-0 farm before that, but I prefer to play it safe on pyramids. A triple dart monkey is all you need to defend up to round 4, at which point you want another triple dart up if they sent pinks or group blues at you. But hold up for just a second, because shit is going down right now. I got too greedy with my tower boost and paid the consequence by almost dying but surviving with 7 lives. Now he's going all in so quick, sell my farms and get up the fan club but oh shit, you got to be freaking kidding me. That devilish icon in the middle of the game which creates a pop up you can't close unless you press that stupid tiny X button. Boy am I salty, I saw that all and coming from a mile away and if not for that pop up I'm almost certain I would have popped the fan club in time, just take a look at this. I was simply trying to click elsewhere on the map to go back to the main menu and use my fan club ability, but unlucky, I just so happened to press that exact spot. Shit happens I guess, but man, all I wanted was to go late game but this guy had to ruin the fun and rush me, I don't understand why people do that when clearly late game is superior, Capra. But jokes aside I do want to touch on the last video a bit. First of all, I have no regrets making it because it's been needed to be said for a long time already. I do want to add on to my points in that video because I missed a few, like the reason why people rush and prefer doing that than going late game. 1. A lot of people play to improve their win ratio and rushing to win takes about a tenth of the time than outlasting your opponent. And 2. There's a lot more strategy and skill involved to rushing that makes it more satisfying when you take someone down like that, such as sending the right rush, counter rushing and playing to their tower boost cooldowns. I know most of the viewers agreed with me on this, but for those who don't you have to understand that there is no chat, if you want to enjoy a late game and find that fun then it's cool. But you can't expect to go into every game thinking people aren't going to want to try to win. This applies to club arenas especially, even if it's boosty bannons of fire it doesn't mean people aren't going to use their thousands of dollars of cash to rush you. I'm going to stop here because this isn't what the video was supposed to be about, all those should have been in the previous video. But I ran into some errors during compile time and forgot to add it in. So back to the game, fittingly enough I ran into two people called late game please in a row, but yeah, you're not going to get to late game using ice, wizard and dart on normal battle arena kid. Back to explaining this dart chipper farm strategy everyone's using. The key to getting better at the game is only building whatever defense you need, so if your opponent isn't harassing you, then you can afford to be greedy and build more farms in the process. Just be wary cause they might be saving up their cash for an all out rush, so you also have to keep an eye on the opponent's screen. For example if they just upgraded their wizard to a fire monkey, that's a pretty big sign that he isn't going to rush you because he just spent 4000 bucks upgrading his defense. 
Don't forget to harass your opponent too if you feel his defense is lacking, like what I'm about to do right now. You're not getting away with just an airburst dart sub on round 8 bud. Don't tell me he's going to build a monkey sub to defend this. Oh man. Just no. I can't even. Cringe. I think this guy thought the map was Battle Park, but nah dude, reactors are only going to bail you out on a few select maps. Hmm, maybe I should continue this in an actual strategy slash in-depth guide, because if I explained all there is to it now the commentary will probably extend into 2017. So let me know if you want to see that. For now I'm going to go before I find out it's 1am and I've been trying to finish the commentary for half the day already. Once again, no poll because I'm not going to overuse it in every video to the point where nobody gives a shit about it anymore, so stop asking for it or other segments, thanks. I appreciate any likes or supportive comments, and remember to keep watching if you want to watch me slowly shed my rust away. Have a rushy day.